All right, mind. welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number. <laughs> this is juicy. Yeah, podcast. yeah, yeah, yeah. time out. <laughs> episode number 53, 65, 53. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. So, so we 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 started out by saying let's not start out with with uh, with. Uh, <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Halo. I, I, I laughed like at that you. last week. Did you? Joe, good job. Uh, okay. I told oh, Joe, good job last time. Joe, good job this time. <laughs> it is Easter how Sorry. yeah find something that isn't <laughs> i didn't watch the last podcast so I didn't. it's like find a good call of duty in there that's the easter egg <laughs> and they even throw you a <laughs> trick question with destiny and halo in there <coughs> okay don't well, worry master collection right, is sorry. working so out. we I messed up the we, intro. we uh no we no you didn't we okay so before we started we were having a discussion about not starting with uh fortnite and then i said yeah especially because i don't want to i don't want to talk mean stuff about the guy that won with no with no kills, and I'm not, and I'm not being overly critical here. I'm just legit being like super critical. What place did he come in? Because I didn't watch the. In- uh, I believe he got top. Did he get like top ten or something like that? I'm not sure. Top twelve, no top yeah. I, I, I watched it super fanboy like, man. I I literally would watch Aiden versus Nick. Oh, it's the best thing ever, bro. Aiden, Aiden. H- have you heard of Aiden before this? Um, no. Me either. My goodness. <laughs> no, so. It, it, uh, c- a couple quick things on that, uh, and again, this is just—I'm just coming back from skirmish. This was my whole last week, so this is like my my yeah. life update since I was last on the podcast. But literally, going into that, like, and this this to your point, right? And this is what I kind of just spoke about with Hitch and what I replied to uh, with with Octane on Twitter was, it would be different if the price was a hundred grand, mm-hmm. and he won twenty five thousand of it, yeah, by hiding, yeah, and it was like, okay, well then that's kind of lame. The prize pool was one point six seven five million dollars. He won twenty five k because he was able to literally stay alive in the best lobby in the world and not and not get any other person's loot. Literally, just survive the whole game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he wins point. It's like it was like one point two percent of the prize pool. I don't have an issue with he that. He wasn't at all. an okay. invited player. Yeah, right? he qualified. He wasn't. He qualified to get to that point. So he woke and up that was at a four a.m. Yeah, to stand in line. To qualify, you go through a wave of qualifiers. If you, you have what two games mm-hmm. to get to the second wave of qualifiers, which you have six games. Then you qualify for that to play on the main stage, which is when he. That's why. I, that's why for me, I was like, you know what, and and and, it, and it's a br. You know, it's like it's just it's it is Victor Royale is still the thing. Yeah. Like he he that if he can live through those zones and you said you watched like when it was forty people in a zone this Bro, big. I, my brother took a picture. Of it. He's I've never seen anything like that, and it is the best the the literal best place. So I, I'm look again, you know now that you explain like that I'm. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you cool. know what? But I I will say this, I in a conversation like that I I'm I'm the same way. If someone gives me a reason why there's an argument, and I yeah. guess it's, I'll be like okay, actually you know what. I do totally get that and, and understand it. But for me, I, I get your – and that's the thing. I totally understand your viewpoint as well. Yeah. But for the scenario that it was, he literally survived with the best people ever. So, you yeah. know what? Let, 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 let him have it. Let him have so it. So this podcast, uh, uh, to introduce – if you're new to the podcast, thank you for stopping by. That's Jack, Courage, Dunlop, uh, Hitch, Hex, and the Crickets. And the Crickets. Uh, you think you can hear him? I don't know, but I can hear him. And I, I'm so distracted. Are you by tilted it. right now? No, I'm not tilted because I like crickets. Yeah, I like it. I kind of like it. I like I like crickets because it makes me feel like I want like a little near. campfire right here or something. Yeah, what to heal Hutch? I mean, uh, uh, to heal Hutch. I miss wow. Hutch, man. I haven't been able to play with all my friends in, since I started this new project with the with the studio, and it's been super annoying. And I, I feel like I'm yeah. What, what you, I, I saw your uh, your brother had a nice Instagram post uh, that Matt took a picture of him like in the studio, and I like this caption. What is that? It was like we built optic in our living room. Now see what we do in this office or something. Oh like damn! That. I was that's, like, damn, yo, he's got the fire right now. He does, man. As he was like loading into a cod wager. <laughs> no, he wasn't. It was, he was playing. He was playing Fortnite. Oh, there you go. okay. And uh, he was watching <laughs> Hutch. And he was watching Hutch because you weren't streaming because my brother watches a lot of your like all your streams. Um, Thank you. But I'm trying to get my brother to play like with us because. I don't know. You know, he he was legit one of the founders of Optic, and he had a lot to do with the fact he was the one that told me to get a PVR and start yeah. recording. He's right? the funnier of you too. He Whoa, is. <laughs> no, De- debatable. Definitely, definitely, Def- that, definitely not. <laughs> you know, people still ask who's older and who's younger. I'll yeah. give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, the the thing is, anyway, so so my brother's like super into it. Like he's the biggest Optic fan ever. Mm-hmm. He's you know one of the founders of the of the Hype Squad. Is that what? 
what is it called? The hype yeah. squad. Hype squad. The hype squizzy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I'm trying to do what you're doing with, with your team, with your friends. You know, just try to get a more um, – because it's good to have sidekicks. And I'm not calling your friends sidekicks, but that's what they are. Um, <laughs> you know, to, to, to help the show, the, the hitch show, right? George and Viker on there right now. Like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I, I think uh, we were just talking about this before this. The, the, the amount of – how hard it is to find – a, gr a good group of people to play with is insane. And when yeah, you're able to play video games where, one, you're winning every so often or you're, com you're, you're competent enough to win and they're your friends that you've been friends with for, like, a long time, that's, like, it's, it's like finding Nemo. I mean, that's the base of how... <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Isn't that the base of how, like, most creators had gotten to the point that they got to? Is, like, for a lot of, for a lot of you gaming YouTubers, is, like... They form their little group of people. For example, the crew when they took off back in the earlier Call of Duty days, like the Vanoss group. Like I think, yeah. I think, I think the Vanoss group is a perfect example. And, and especially now, after getting mm -hmm. get to meet them and become friendly with a, with a, basically all of them, is they know that literally the, your success winds up being helps all of us yeah, be successful. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you look at any video that any of them are in, even if one of them is in for one clip, they're all tagged in the, in, like, hey, friends in this video, go subscribe, like. Go promote yeah. their channels, like, yeah. and that's why even down to any video I've ever had on my channel since I started, I see that and I'm like, oh, any person said any video on my channel, yeah, they get tagged in the in, in the credits. Yeah. yeah. Now that Connor's got a YouTube channel, he's gonna hit 100k subs today. Like, that's he's he, he's in all the bios. Doctor Wobblekin, Sundance's son, he's got 10,000 subs now. That I'm I'm picking him up. He's, no, seriously, bro. I, I, the thing is, he's the thing insane. is, like, the thing is this, right? Like, imagine being that good at a video game. And your dad being Sundance Di Giovanni, okay. And you're ten. And you're ten. And you're ten. Right? So, uh, Sundance Di Giovanni, if you guys don't know, is uh, is one of the co-founders of MLG. Dude's been in the game for like twenty five plus years. Dude, yeah. it's not been in the game. He literally he started, started the game. Started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, pressed, he pressed start. On the he game. Was, like how someone was like, "Hey, we should go out this field and throw a ball and hit it with a bat." That's yes. what he did for video games. Yeah, for competitive video games. That's true. Yeah, exactly. True. So imagine. You know, Saja's also good at like they're all good, yeah. right? I mean, I'm waiting for uh, for Sunny to be, you know, Sunny, super Sunny. Yep. You know, the the youngest one to become like the like the better out of the best out of all of them. But how wild is it that you have uh, you have a video game? Okay, let me let me ask you this. He's obviously better than me at at Fortnite. Would you say? I mean, he's <laughs> pushing better than me too, bro. At ten years old, right? In 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 the study that you can build off of that is. Are you born with this or is practice like your thing? Because does he practice? Does he understand what practice is, right? Or is he just playing a game because it's just playing a game that's fun to him? Did you – that was one thing I wanted to ask you. I was kind of along, kind of along the same lines. Is that there's – there's it seems like there's YouTubers and then there's, you know, competitive players. And there's very few people that can go in between. And that's when you get like – you know, I, I, I'm just strictly thinking of Call of Duty. So, like, you have the T-Martins, the Alliés, and, and they'll dabble in game battles, but for competitive players, they're kind of seen as, like, just free, like, I mean, just easy. And I feel like you were in that in COD, and then in Fortnite, you were like, I don't want to be that. I want to I want to be, like, real. No, I, I literally think I think a lot of it, I mean, you could probably test this, too. I, I, think, I think a lot of it is still the culture of Call of Duty pro players and in how, for example, like, they just don't – but. It's tough to say as a Call of Duty pro player, like, can they be a YouTuber when literally have any of them put in actual effort to yeah. be that? Yeah. That's the thing. And it's because I think the culture of, like, I'm just, I'm swamped, you know, like, like, yeah. like, and, and that's the thing. That, that's, that's the simple point, right? Is yeah. now that, now that I'm at this point, right, and, and, and I've won some money in Fortnite, I have pro Fortnite player in my bio, but if you know me, that's, yeah, yeah. that's, that's like, literally, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and, and it's like, it, 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 I, I just I don't even. But you said you said at one point, you yeah, know, when we were just talking that like there was a, there was you hit you hit a point in Fortnite where you're like I'm good enough to be a content creator, but you didn't want to stop there. You wanted to like push past that, and I, I don't think you I don't know if you ever like did that in COD. I think I, I think I think it just got to a point where I've always been v up in the above average part of video games mm -hmm. yeah. my whole life. It's like yeah, I get same, I get to playing same. it and I just get that. <laughs> same. Hector, Hector, when he says some words, gives you this like tiniest. It's like it's like his his mouth goes from doing this to like just <laughs> just, just enough. enough. Like, yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's holding it a fart. He's like, 
<laughs> like so that, I just see that and you you say same like same. He's yeah. like same. <laughs> same. <laughs> that was the whole difference. Um so for me and in my past I've never had the time to genuinely hone my craft of playing 8 hours a day, switching up key binds, doing all these things. Yeah. So cuz I would always have school it was a hobby. So like I got to global and CS and that was the top rank you could be in matchmaking. Take that with a grain of salt. Obviously, there's ESCA and other things to play. Yeah. Um, I, I, you saw back in like Black Ops Three when I really put my time in. Like I would play eights with pros and yeah. you actually held your hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so with Fortnite this time around, now that it is literally my full time job, I've literally played the game eight hours a day since whenever, as mm -hmm. long as I can remember. Um, that that it's I've actually gotten to the point now where and I've played enough with pro players and been in these lobbies and watched enough people and got my binds and have the setup I want that now I genuinely think I've I've finally I've always been right at that ceiling and I think I've finally just like pushed it past. Yeah. And even now from watching this week, I found yesterday, and this is the next thing I'm really excited about, is I've found now I really am starting to understand when to pyramid your opponent. So yesterday for when playing, I was starting to pyramid people and build battles and I was like, oh this feels really yeah, good yeah. because i know these people like i got the higher when you yeah. get pyramided and you're like and you like run into it it's the worst feeling in the world uh what is pyramiding <laughs> <laughs> so basically you you two people are build battling past each other right yeah let's say your opponent has a slight advantage you see their ramp appear before yours when that ramp appears you put a, a pyramid you you turn really quick and put a pyramid on the top of theirs and then keep going so that pyramid makes it so that they can't place anything above that so the only way you can stop, for example, if someone has a full layer above you, if you're both building at each other and they are one level above you like this and you're here, if you, 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 what you'll see pro players do is they will look up and pyramid a full level above so that they get blocked. You then turn up and, and build past them while they're like, oh, God, I got to pick access or do whatever. It, so basically it gives you a chance to get past them. You, you pyramid people a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, this, this is what goes through my mind, man. I'm a... I'm a Fortnite caster and pro player. I, I, I had to take a breath because I didn't even know what to say right after. So thank you for that. I didn't. I didn't know. I, and I asked hey, my I'm brother. My brother said the same thing. I was just verifying that that, that was that was the case. Yeah. Um, back to Aiden and not not uh, which that was that whole story. Bro, tell us the story because no, so yeah. I always loved WWE type th stuff. Yeah. That's why when you think of like the COD broadcasts, I would come in and do those stage intros, and some people were like. That was kind of he was he was hamming it up, but like I loved like the ladies and yeah. up and hear the whole crap of that, you know. Yeah. Um, I always I always thought that the best way to do COD was WWE style, which is why I love the way you do your team intros. Right. Why there's so much hype built for your throwback stuff because people want to see those things. Yeah. Th there's a reason why the Undertaker is 65, but the crowd still goes nuts when they hear his song. Like this week, it just happened in WWE. I saw a clip on on Twitter. Exactly. That will always resonate because it's like they've built that up so much. Yeah. So when you go to a broadcast and you've got Nick Merckx, everyone knows him, huge brand of Fortnite. He is the king of Tilted, especially on console. Yeah. Literally lands big gray and Tilted every game. Everyone knows it in the wagers he plays and everything he does in every game he plays with pros. Yeah. And people steer clear of it because he's that good at it. Mm -hmm. And then you have Aiden, who's an up-and-coming pro player, also playing on console, landing in Tilted, knowing Nick Merckx is there and saying, you know what, I'll give you Big Gray, I'll loot up, and then it's time to fight. And they went there every single game, and he literally beat him every time he faced him. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> two things there. The, one, the second time he landed there, he found everything he needed to super shield that's up. A, that's right? the Battle Royale. That's yeah. Battle Royale. Yep. Okay. He had one health, right? One or three or something like that? Well, there was one game. Someone, someone calculated online that there was one game where Nick did like 450 damage to Aiden and never got the limb on him because he had that many shields. He, yeah. he had like sh minis and a chug jug and like, yeah. <laughs> Bro, but what, what I, the, the, right? the one thing that I noticed about, and, and I noticed because it took me 10 seconds after I seen this player build the way they was building to look down and see a triangle. And I'm like, whoa. And then I continued to watch knowing that he was playing on PS3 and I'm like, what, or PS4 or whatever. Yep. I was like, holy shit, how, what, what is it, what controller is he using? I is mean, he using Scuff, using Code Hex? I would, I would be I sure don't he's know using Scuff, using Code Courage. Um, I don't know these things. There was one fight that I spoke about with Vivid yesterday um, that, because we, we, we were playing together and we were talking about all this stuff, and there was one fight that stuck out to me as a, literally the fight of the weekend still. After all that, and it's underrated for a lot of people, but his teammate Ghost Saf, Safaruni, 
is really one of the a fantastic competitive player on PC. He gets in a straight up build fight with Aiden, and Aiden literally beats him in a build fight, which is where everyone says, and I agree, the we're, separation. We're, yeah, that, that's totally what separation is. He went up, pyramided, Saf gets blocked. Next thing you know, Aiden perfectly turns, builds above him, gets the high ground, winds up playing the low ground later on, and literally beats him in a straight up 1v1 build fight, same HP. And I was just like this. If you hear the, bro- I, was, I was like, that's on, like that's on a controller. That that for me is the whole fight of the weekend. That's crazy. From from Aiden because that that people have been waiting for that moment for nine months. Hundred percent. And they both. And play, I mean, they both placed top twenty. What what um Who, Nick and Nick and Aiden. Aiden both what what it reminds 20. me of is when uh when NA Counter Strike started to you know to to meet up with with European Counter Strike. Yep. Uh, when we first stepped into it, everybody was like NA NA yep. NA NA, and little by little, like um, it, it's a matter of time. Before you know these players match up at some point or another, you play enough times against people better than you. You only become the the people at disadvantage are the people that are better than you because they're not learning or. or that's why it's toughest to stay at the top. Yeah, like that's why. It, yeah, exactly. That's why dynasties are so like, oh my god, they did it because literally everyone's chasing that. I know. Yeah. What? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh god! As he takes a sip of his uh, coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah, hits were like, yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's go on. Um, <laughs> did you? Pax was good though. Did you have a good time? It was, it was my first. Good. It was my first ever Pax. Did you? Uh, okay, it was uh, Pax Prime, right? Because it was in the West Coast. Pax West is is the same as Prime, yeah. Okay, from what I understand. Uh, it's been close to the only time I go to Pax now is when I. This was your first Pax too, right? I went to Pax East for Halo tournament. Okay, I don't know what now it you is. Almost didn't send me to, because you said I wanted to go hang out with Nick, and I said no, I want to <laughs> shoot vision, and then. I, I hung out, no, and then I hung out with Nick. <laughs> he said, "No, you just want to go h- hang out with Nick." And I said, "No, I want to do my job and shoot Vision." And then Flame Sword retired that weekend, and I was there to shoot it. Mm. Well, that's why I sent them. Just, yeah, <laughs> I give you full credit. I give you full credit. Thank you. <laughs> As I do, he's like, he's like, "Yo, this is gonna be the last one." So, Hitch, you gotta go. I'm not coming with. Happened. I'd love to. Yeah. You're like, you're not going. You're just gonna hang out with Nick. I was like, and then literally some of the most legendary moments. Mm-hmm. Which what? Which part? <laughs> just <laughs> you're Nick's. Annoying. See, look at that. Oh, <laughs> shit. You're right. Um, you know what I was thinking about about PAX and, and, and what's the other one? CS? No, e, uh, E3. 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 It's literally just parties, man. That's like, I know it's. What was it? Well, for me. Well, in my old days, when we used to go, I, uh, I think I've had. How many wh- parties did you go to? Uh, f- did you go to the PUBG one? Yeah. I, the, my, my, my way, my, literally, my way of getting into the PUBG one was. I'm with Do- I'm here with Doctor Lupo. Yeah. I just like Lupo and because Lupo's like a PUBG partner and everything, so they obviously. Yeah. Get, and I was I was literally standing next to him, and his his wife was already his plus one, and then I was just there too, and I was like, <laughs> I'm his plus plus one. <laughs> I'm his double X. I'm his like double. X. <laughs> There's no way um, they don't know who you are. No, it got it, it got all sorted, and then I I remembered that like Alex Penn now works there, yeah, Alan yeah, Johnson yeah. now works there, yeah, Jeff yeah, yeah. Parker. So like yeah. I, I walked all in, I was homies. like, wait, why was I? Why don't I just actually use my brain and DM any of them, and it would have been fine. And I was like the whole time, like hopefully Lupo's able to get me in. You know, like I like I knew yeah, like five. You got your own clout now, man. You gotta you gotta listen. You gotta rise above the the old Jack. David was like, David was like, we're going, we're going, we're going. And then I DM'd him or I texted him at eight thirty. I was like, yo, are we going? And then I still haven't heard back. Can I actually stuff. tell you one of the weirder experiences of so so. One thing you, we we talked about, and I didn't even go to the pack show floor once, but the one thing I heard from a lot of people is that the security was laughably Dude, bad. It was the event security. I walked in. The Fort, it, so Fortnite was not anything. Fortnite was not in the actual or PUBG convention or PUBG. Yeah, they, they were on outside things. Yeah, because the convention center it's it's outgrown the convention center there. Um, Dude. Fortnite event in the, in the casting area that I was. I think did you ever, did you even get to go to overdo it? I don't even know. Uh, the casting area that I was was really good security. I mean, bag checked everything, wand everything. Then there was uh, police officers there the whole time. Great. What I heard was security was laughably bad. Was for for the rest of Dude. packs. <sighs> it's crazy. What? We um, can talk. I mean, yeah. Was it was it the the same as that one meme of the guy that just like? I think that would have been a layer of protection greater. Yeah. Hundred percent. Get the fuck out. Of I I walked in to the Turtle Beach booth, uh, which you have to go up, you know, two sets of escalators, and I walked in and out of that, you know. Of the entrance, uh, at least you know six or seven times, and not one person ever checked my bag or my badge. I just had a lanyard on, and they were just. 
Wait, what did I want to talk about with this, though? I had a follow-up point. Uh, Security? Well, what else are we talking about? Oh, shit. You were talking about something... I can't remember now. Gosh darn it. But I had a follow-up point. That was like my little point, but then I realized <laughs> it was a kind of an important point. Um, I forget. Let's move on. I'm, I'm, I'm having a brain fart because I'm trying to remember what, you, what it was. He's so baffled at what you just heard. I was actually really surprised <laughs> to hear that. I, Dude, yeah. Um, and, I, I, don't, I don't understand, though. It's crazy. Like, I don't know. I, I, I've never been like... Oh, I just remembered. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, PUBG party. Uh, uh, when we were there, there was they had a you know those machines where you slam the thing and the you, yeah. you hit it with a hammer. So we're there, and in this day and age, and it's crazy to think, but literally every time it would happen, it literally sounded like a gunshot going off. So everyone was like this, like, why is this thing here? And, and don't get me wrong, like I, 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 I like, you did it. No, no, I didn't, I, I didn't touch it, but like it was literally like you'd be standing there, everyone would be talking. There'd be like music. It was more of like a gathering, not like a yeah, party yeah. party. I don't know where all you hear is, and it was this huge, loud slam of someone hitting the hammer. And like, you could just tell everyone every time it happened, we'd be like this. Yeah. And it was just because it was just like, it was just like the worst thing you could ever have in an engagement like that. And I, I joked with some people that worked there. I was like, who's that? And they're like, we were trying to, people love activities. And it's true for party, like for yeah. things like that. It is, a, it's great to have activities, but like, God, do we have to have something that slams and makes that loud noise? And then there would be people that would go up that had a few drinks who were like, bing, yeah, yeah, bing, and try to like hit it four times. So you're like, cut, cut, cut. Yeah. That was the, but they did have good like little mini pop. <laughs> I, I will say that, you know, I've been going to events for five years and this, that event was the first time the, the fucking, thought. E the evil thoughts even like creeped in or I'm just like, like, what would I do? You know? And it's just, I don't know. Well, we, we've been terrifying. saying it. We've been saying it for for years and years and years. Like, luck, luckily, MLG does a really good job at. We talked about it in the la in last week's podcast, but MLG at least does a really good job at having that. They have uh, that dude. I don't know if he wants me to say his name. I don't even. It's, it's like, you know, Ray, right? I was it Ray. Yeah. So like that dude's been around so for so long, and has like done an amazing job yeah. every single time. And and he's got his staff like all buttoned up. It doesn't matter. Who you are, yep. if you don't have a badge, he doesn't care if you have a million subs on whatever fucking platform. Yeah. If you don't have a badge, you are out of there, yeah. period. Unless you're with somebody that he knows, yeah. you're not there. Get out, you yeah. know? And, and and we've been lucky enough that nothing bad has ever happened in, in, in these, in yeah, these oh, events. No, you, know, you know, there's like if you're an MLG event, there's no way you're getting like, – I, I, and I worked there for, for so long. There was never thought of like – People are just slipping through that back door. Like that's just not a thing. No. I've I've literally watched Adam sprint when he needs to. If there's if there's something that goes on, not even that related, mm -hmm. but like not even like less than security related. Obviously, security's right at the top. But like yeah. I've watched Adam Apicella literally sprint to the location to make sure an issue is solved. Yeah. If someone slightly begins to get at a hand for anything, I've seen two fights at MLG events, and both times Ray has been there to separate them. I don't know. I'm walking, and then there's, there's the the first one that happened, and he was there. Why was he there? Did it cause that fight in a bit? Is that the one? I think it was UMG. Or? No. Uh, I have no idea. No, you, uh, you're thinking about Kostov and uh, and Keemstar. Keemstar. <laughs> Wasn't that outside or something? No, yeah. it was in the video. Keemstar didn't. Yeah, Keemstar also fights someone. Okay. Oh, bro, uh, I didn't want to say it. Why did you say his name? Because now I can't make the point that I was gonna make. Oh shit. Yeah. Sorry. Because I, I love Pitt. I don't know. Yeah. So do <laughs> I. So do I. That's, but that, I just think it's funny that Keemstar fought two people. But yeah. it's just keep, it's just keep being Keemstar. No, that's just, that's I will say this: brand. Keemstar can move. That's all I'll say. Yeah, he is I fast. Was, he knows. No, I was, he's fast well, aside from that, like you can tell that if if if, if a fight was to happen, he he know how to handle Did it. Did you so. see his videos this week of of him clearing his porch with with the with the yeah, spray power wash? Yeah. Power wash. He's like, no matter how many M's in the account, still got to do the hard work, and it's just him going. Eh, like spraying <laughs> thing, like mind blown at him. Like this is the most keen video of all time. Like, um, yeah. Anyway, so the second time that that, that happened, and, and my, my thought is like, how is Ray always at the right place at the right time? Because he legit separated the fight, and the dude that still wanted to go, like he wrestled him to the ground and put him in like this. Yeah. This. Anyway, um, but still, there is like certain things that could be improved, in my opinion, from the MLG standpoint. Oh. And I've and I've, and I've spoken to him already about this, but and I won't say what it is, obviously for security reasons, but. Mm -hmm. To me, the the security of of not only the what's happening in the event, but outside of the event is like mandatory at this point now. There's no way that 
multi-billion dollar companies are going to be okay with having anything i don't want to bring in the, the obviously like the think about if this same scenario would have happened in a call of duty event or a or a counter-strike event you know where guns are used inside yeah, the video this, this, yeah a, and and obviously video games don't cause violence right i mean that, that's anyone with a brain yeah. everyone with a brain knows that but imagine if Okay. Yeah. Imagine, in, in spe- specifically in the world that we live in now, where every politician, every single politician from both sides and in the fucking middle, are looking for whatever excuse they can to make a point to get one point up on the polls. Yeah. Imagine if that would have happened then. You know what I'm saying? Like it is, it is, it is sad that we are in that in in that sort of yeah. like world, right? It, and it's and it could have been prevented apparently. And I, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember exact the, the exact points, but the dude had had the cops call to his home several times, several times yeah. and he had been admitted se- 27 times, 17 times? Yeah, it was. I think it was in the 20s. What I heard was in the 20s. Okay. I, 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 I don't know, but he had been admitted to, psych- to, to a psychiatric uh, help. Psych- psychiatric. Right. Psychiatric. What did I say? Psychiatric? He just made some Psychi- yeah, cataracts. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Right, so, <laughs> and he was still able to obtain a gun. Yeah. Legally, okay, which is the fucking problem. I don't. Uh, no one's gonna take your guns away if gun reform comes out. The, the 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 people on the right are saying that it's gonna be this extreme where they're gonna come in and take it. No one's gonna come fucking take take your guns. Okay, I like guns. Okay, I have guns. No one, no one, is saying that. But we do need to have some an, an extra bit of of uh, of testing or an extra added layer of. Background checks or an extra. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say my, my most political thing I think I've ever said. Hit me. I think both situations can be improved. How there's the battle of mental health awareness. Yes. And the way that the guns are. I have something crazy. Let's just improve both. Yes. Instead of just picking, trying to pick one and put yeah. a blame on the other. How about we just look at both scenarios and move forward with that? And that's my whole topic. Yeah. Let's move on. Yes. Please. So how was your coffee today? My coffee? <laughs> Nirvana coffee, man. Right below my, my studio's fire. I always say that it's a good thing to have a coffee place right near you, but having a good one is even better. I, it's, so uh, my dad would always drink coffee. When, when, always says drink coffee. But when I was younger, I would like smell it or whatever. And he'd be like, oh, you, you want to just try it and see if you like it sort of thing? Did he yeah. ground it up and then line it up for you to smell it? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> really got me in my whole drug kick that I have now. Um, that's not true. Um, Went from but coffee, from coffee to G Fuel. I literally never – it, 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 the taste has always given me a headache. I just don't like coffee, like literally ever. I, I can't, can't relate. I, I know. That's why I'm saying like, – a lot of people are like, oh, are you serious? I literally cannot drink coffee. The second that I taste the coffeeness part of it, I think it's just too much – it's too overwhelming of a of – a, are you an energy drink guy? Have you had a uh, 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 like sugar free, not sponsored? Yeah. Have you had a uh, arroz con leche? What did you even just say? <laughs> How about I'd rather uh, you go back to the psychiatric thing. Right, rice water. Well, it's two horchata? different things. Yeah, horchata. Yeah, but we've gone with <coughs> Mariana's. Okay. I literally get that. Have you ever had? Like have you ever had café con leche? No. Which is coffee with milk. See, I, I just struggle. I struggle literally with that the slightest hint of coffee in it. Here, Whoa. drink this. The, the bottom. <laughs> drink, 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 drink my watered down backwash <laughs> coffee. Sure, I'd love to. Um, recently, when was it? A couple of weeks ago, I want to say it was really hot. It was really hot in here, and and uh, and I was doing my my uh, my my photos for uh, for the sponsorship that I did with a uh, Ballast yeah. Point. Um, excellent beer. Uh, and Liv's like, is like, why, why do, why do you guys, why do adults drink beer? And I'm like, darling, cause it tastes good. And then I'm like, smell this, oh. not taste this, smell this. And it had been in the, in the Texas sun. Oh, God. Okay. Dude. For like, cause I was like, I was going in and I was in, in the pool and Judy was helping with the pictures. I was inside the pool, outside the pool. And it was, it was, that, the beer got hot. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I'm like, smell, <laughs> smell this. And Liv is super picky with what she eats. Yeah. She's like, she does, she's just a, she's a kid, yeah. you know, no veggies, no nothing. Even though as a baby ate, ate all the veggies. Anyway. She smells that shit and she's like, <laughs> so I thought she was going to puke and I'm like, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, job. because my father, when I was, we were in Mexico, in Mexico you can drink 
at the age of 18 or <laughs> below. How are they about to say like eight? I literally thought you were about well, to say. Well, but, but I, I do remember. I always go back. Never mind. I'm not going to say it because. I, I remember you, my, my friend George. He's Georgian, like Georgian, the rush, like the the country near Russia. Um, and I always thought it was crazy that he was like, "That's no, a cu- country." Uh, the, Georgia is a country. Yeah, I know. Um, George is Georgian, though. Yeah. No, oh, no. His, and his name is George. Is George George? That's literally his name, and then his last name. I'm not even kidding. That's how he's. Okay, named. so he has two. He's George not George. Not only does he have two first names, but and his last name is a G as well. So it's G G G. Is his initials? Is he a boxer? Right. Um, but no, he's definitely not. He we play video games. But um, I always thought it was crazy. That, like his dad would offer him red wine because mm-hmm. that's that's how it is. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 like I was like we were like fourteen, and I'd be like, "What's that?" That's funny. Um, well, it's Jesus, Jesus. I, I play World of Warcraft. Um, but literally, that's what it was like. Yeah. I thought that was just crazy to me. I'd never. Anyway, so my dad did the same thing, and that's yeah. why I, I I didn't drink or smoke until literally the day of graduation in high school. Wow. Smoke a joint in the in the middle of the football field and <coughs> had my first beer. Not a fan. No, I wasn't a fan. I the beer or the joint? The, no, well, the, the, the beer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't be crazy. You know, fan of the idea. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so I, I – uh, yeah, so I, I, did, I did my job, I think. I think she's going to be good until she's like hopefully like 25, yeah. Yeah. praying gonna literally do gonna give her more hints of that smell this one you know, just like just gross <laughs> the worst you see start getting the worst smelling ones apparently you're supposed to like like whenever or i, I heard this like uh, from my pe teacher when i uh was in high school he said he when he was a kid his dad when he was like eight uh had a cigarette and he was like hey take a puff of this mm-hmm. he took a puff and almost threw up yeah and then from that moment on, he, he hated cigarettes. Yeah. And so it's like the same, same well, kind of Well, for thing. me, I think I was what? Because you don't understand. Like, when you're a kid, you don't understand, like, cool. Like, and people smoke cigarettes in high school yeah, to, be to be cool. Yeah, to be cool. Yeah. And if you, you know, so if you just, they're just like, why would you? Have you ever had a cigarette? Puff on this? It, literally, the, I find them the most disgusting thing in my whole life. So do I. But have you ever had one? No. Have you ever had one? Not cigarette, never. Not a, not a Me, not ever, not once. Maybe once when I was like four. I have never even. I've and, never, no, and, and I'm not talking about full one, but my aunt said, like, try this. Yeah. And I was like, you know, the same same sort of thing. I, I do enjoy a cigar, you know, and I, again, as I mentioned, you know. You know. Ryan's, Ryan's wedding, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it was the worst. All right, so I'm going to. Uh, uh, so we had a, obviously, we went, just went to Fuiss's wedding. Yeah. It was a beautiful, beautiful wedding. Uh, it was it was a good time. You were there, mm-hmm. uh, and there was a there was a table with just cigars, and and it was three different types of cigars. Three, three different types of yeah. cigars, and I'm I'm there fucking smoking cigars and having a good conversation. And not by himself. He's got there's all sorts of people joined there. It's like the thing right at that point. Everyone's yeah. smoking cigars. Yeah, all the gentlemen. Yeah. And, and a couple. Not of me. Ladies. I'm not a gentleman. Yeah, and a couple of ladies showed up and we were smoking c- c- cigars. I've ever seen a woman smoke a cigar. I what? Don't know, I don't know why. Yeah. I just now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen. I've seen a lot. Have you? Yeah, a lot. Um. Anyway, I got a little woozy for the first time in years, and I'm like, I have to excuse myself. Oh, I almost threw up. At those cigars. Yeah. I and and this is this was the second time that has happened to me smoking a cigar. So what happens is that if you swallow the smoke, you're yeah. fucked. You're gonna yeah, puke. You're done. Period. And. In the middle of someone said something funny, and I fucking I swallowed and laughed, and I was like, I thought was, I'm like I smoke cigars all the time. This ain't gonna be anything, nope, bro. Literally within half an hour, I'm talking to who was it? Dunkus, I think, and we're having a conversation. And I'm like, I'm like, whoa, I'm like, I I'm feeling bad, and I'm like, oh, I'll be right back. And then I started walking. And I'm like, mm. it's such a terrible feeling. Made it to my to my uh, to my room. It was already 11:30, 11:45. The party closed at one, so I'm like. I don't think there's a need for me to go back there. So I just stayed in, puked, my brain's oh. out. And you but, know, you know Hector. When Hector's at like a place, you're like, oh, like you can, you can just kind of either always hear him or know his laugh yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like, you like almost instantly notice. You're like, where do you go? Where did he go? I mean, he was literally having the time of his life here, just smoking some cigars, you know, hanging out. We were all outside. It was a beautiful night. The, the grilled cheeses just got there. Oh, bro, we smashed. Except for the, <laughs> the sourdough. You're the f- who invented sourdough? <laughs> It's so gross. Probably bro. like you, have, you got a problem. That's like a forty-five thousand BC problem, dog. Yeah, it's, no it's one invited a, sourdough. It's a it, problem. It, it, his well, name was forty-five back. letters. Yeah, let's go back uh, and, and remove that because first I had a really good grilled cheese sandwich. It was incredibly good. 
right? The second one that I had, I did, I just had a bite of it because I figured it was sourdough. You know why I knew? Because it was sour, and I spat it out and threw it out, and then I grabbed another one. But anyway, it was delicious. I thought. Good. Did you Did you have a good night? What did you guys end up doing after I left at around eleven forty five? I mean, my my flight was at. Uh, I had to wake up from a flight at four thirty a.m. or whatever it was. To yeah, you know James. what pissed me off about that is that did, okay, be honest here. Did we not have the same flight that we planned out? We had everything planned out for champs, right? You and I. Oh, oh, one hundred percent. People were saying, "I can't believe you didn't show up to support you." Well, first of all, my. Literal. I had we we both did the same thing. Yeah, and that was, I had a I had that flight planned for champs alongside you. That yeah, I could show you the text of us planning. Yeah, it. but you better believe I even me had a flight at two p.m. back to Dallas as my abort mission. I'm there's no way I'm making it on that first flight. Yeah, uh, and you had I'm sure the same thing. I did. Not, not only that, but I, I had full intent, and I told everybody the, the plan, even on, on, on the vlog. I told everybody the plan. I'm, there's no way that I miss champs. No way. There's no fucking way that I miss champs. I've never missed a champ since 2000. People are acting like you, if, if Fuz's wedding wasn't that weekend, you would have been like, oh, I'll just show up for Sunday for champs. Yeah. Like you would have been there Tuesday. As if, uh, I, I, I want to know that there's literally been three Call of Duty events in my life that I've missed. One was in 2011, was Olivia's first birthday. It was the one in Rhode Island, and I remember it vividly because I remember like, oh, I can't believe Providence. I that was one that I was actually Providence. At. Yeah, uh, that one. Um, I think I missed yes, the French, the French one. Yeah, yes, obviously, and this one. And people were like giving me shits, like, yeah, oh shit, like, yeah, if you would have shown up, like, the outcome would have been different. And I remember the ESWC one from this year, if I'm not mistaken, was like a dilemma for you because you were like, you planned to go, you had to all this stuff, and then when you couldn't, you were like trying to find other ways. To, yeah. It was like a whole thing. Yeah, look. I, but, I don't understand the negativity that goes into that. Like, think about the logic. And I'm like, I'm like, do I have to prove myself and show people the text that I had about me and Jack, like saying, like people literally thought that I didn't care. I and just thought like, I, for people that are like that, like when I know the truth of a situation and their voice is so small, like, 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 let's say for example, let's say Hitch went out and said, "Hey, wow, I can't believe Hector wouldn't go to, to champs," and his voice is big enough or mm -hmm. it would gain traction. That's yeah. what I'm like, okay. Now I'll defend myself. Mm -hmm. But if it's literally someone that's just trying to spew that out, and hey, they don't even know me, they have that little. Yeah. Um, uh, th for me, I'm just like this. Okay, let me, let me just move on. It's like, like simple as that. It, not me though. I, I think <laughs> I, I think that I was put on this earth to like correct little ass. Oh, oh, you you trust me? You told me a lot of times I about used, this. I used to be like that. I used to be the I'm going to respond to everybody on Twitter guy. But I don't know what's happened over the past four months. It's just kind of been like, eh, just like brushing up. Just, I don't really care. I just always, I mean, I've seen. I think it's, I think it's me stepping back from like content and stuff because now, because people would say, you know, oh, vision or optic content shit is being, you know, uh, there's a lot of. <laughs> I, I, I talking back here. Yeah. <laughs> like, He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it for us to hear, but I don't want anybody. <laughs> like, like if. If uh, they were blaming me for something going wrong in optic content, and at that point it's not just like me, like they're not just roasting me for you know doing something. They're like saying that because of my, I guess, uh, problems, it caused issues mm -hmm. in optic content. And now that I, that's now that I don't have to deal with that, I guess that that was the only thing that really like got to me. So, I don't really care can I that. ask you a very important question? <clears throat> yes. Where's the fly cast? Th thank you. Thank I, you. Just address it on camera. Just say what he's. I think it, I know. I think the hate that you get for not uploading. That's what I'm saying. The flycast is well fucking deserved because I'm one of the people that are saying it. And I, I mean, I know, I know you know this, but like, it, it just, I want you. I want to put you in a scenario. Okay, go ahead. I just want. I want you to ro roast maniac. If maniac needs to be roasted. Imagine. Cook him. I would do it in a heartbeat. Imagine two years ago. Yeah. You, you, and Maven decided to start a podcast. Okay. Ooh, it would have been a good one. Maven's amazing. Oh, that's why I think that's why roster. Why didn't we? Well, okay. So okay. when 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 Big Timer called out today, why didn't we fucking call Maven? Uh, can we think specific. about these things? Anyway, go on. Sorry. Next week, we Maven will be here next week. Hundred <laughs> percent. Are you gonna be here next week? Yeah. All right. Good. So. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> you suck. Uh, so, well, you gotta stop going to all these events. That's, you're you're, yeah, ca you're casting for Fortnite. You're really, casting for Call of Duty. Like yeah. Jesus Christ! I do have a lot of events going on. Anyway, so go on. 
you were saying. So imagine, imagine a scenario. Yeah. Imagine, and instead of Maven being the you know very responsible, very uh, you know hardworking, yes, and you know pushing for like whatever that the guy that Maven is, mm. say my high, say my hard work. Yeah. Yeah. What? Say my hard work. Yeah. No, Maven. Who, is, wait, which one are you in this scenario? Are you Maven or are you Jack? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually kind of. Imagine instead of Maven being like that. <laughs> Instead of Maven being the upstanding, he's, hardworking, he's he's a, he's a slacker. He, no, not a slacker. He's not a slacker. I'm. A, I can be a slacker. Oh, so he's Hex like. Hex can be a slacker. It's like he's. You just can a, be a slacker. He's like a bowl. He's like a bowl of like potato soup. Or he's something. like this table. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't move. He sleeps. Yeah. Then he randomly decides to buy a car. Yeah. Then he randomly decides to stream for 48, 48 hours. Then he's the table again. It's like a shape shift, it's like shape shift. Dude, how do you work? I've never around that? met a human like him, ever, besides formal. And we, don't get me wrong, yeah. almost pretty much the you same. You love him, but oh, one hundred percent. No, this is no, just what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. But I would, I would maybe think about, I would maybe think about tackling him if, if somebody were gonna about to run him over. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, that's nice of you. Maybe if you maybe, put thought yeah. to it. Yeah, he'd like play it through his head. He's like, depends uh, on how big the vehicle was. Yeah. I, I always I always go back to the point of the graffiti point that I always make. I, I, I met this one graffiti artist, super talented guy, and and in talking to him about graffiti, he was like, I hate. I was like, bro, I hate graffiti. And I'm like, at the time, it was like graffiti was my life. And I'm like, how can you, how can you hate something that you are so fucking good at it? And he's like, I just hate it. And I'm like, why, God? Why didn't you give me his skill? I love graffiti. Let mm-hmm. me be me. Please give me that. You know, and they just. Humans are good at things, and they just don't want to be good at them. And I think that that's what's happening with this dude, because this dude is literally good at uh, literally almost everything. Funny. Oh, yeah. He's good at sleeping. Uh, excellent at sleeping. I don't know. I think that if we were able to, how how do we bottle up up? Well, all so, we need to do is no. We need to bottle up his his forty eight hour energy and spread it across seven days, and we'll be good. <laughs> I've been, you can't do it. Let me, let's do. Let's do. Look, I, I'm really bad at math. He's but I'm 32. About to. He's 33, and he's still living this way. He's. <laughs> I Hold on. Let me. Let me. <laughs> let me do this. Let me do this math. Okay. So 24 times seven. But he's the best. He's the best podcast. Divided by 48. Best podcast. 3.5. If we can, if we, if we, if we can, uh, if we can divide his 48 hours stints or sprints or s- stints, right? Is that the right word? Into seven days, we would need him to work three and a half hours. A day, and he would fucking murder the game. Hundred percent, he can do more he in three and a half hours on a daily basis than most people will do in everything that Nick has ever done, creatively, professionally. That has succeeded is not a three and a half hour thing. No, it has come from not moving for forty hours when he won. When he won Halo, uh, when he won like 09 Nats, he told me his. Schedule was literally sit in a Skype call after work and play until 3 a.m. every single night, and that's what he did. And then when he got good at making beats, I didn't see him for two months. You heard him, though. I heard him. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's actually one of the most vivid memories I have from the times I spent at Scuff Scuff House. was sort of like, you just can't, you just hear his beats at all times. Yeah, I I heard it so much that it was actually like I didn't have a problem going to sleep to it because I would just hear it and I would be like, it was always going off. And uh, this like the same with hit whenever his YouTube would blow up, he would make like the crit like the best blogs, the best stuff. That's all he did. That's all he focused on. And the same thing with Fortnite. You see how good he is at Fortnite. Nasty. People are people have caught up now, but. It's just like when, there was a time where he was like, you know, before we had a Fortnite team, it was like Jack and Nick were our best players. And that was like the conversation. I like, mean, I think on, there's you two, you guys are the pros, and, and two others like you, Nick. Yeah. And who, who else? Karma. Would be a, Karma was the like other. The fact yeah. that and Nick's not competing, like, why is? Why didn't he go to packs and stand in line? Yeah. Because he was tweeting about like, how do people get invited to these things? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. I mean, I don't know if I would, if in in, in his shoes, I don't know if I would have. You know, sat in line. You know what I'm saying? Here's what I'll say, man. What uh, what opened my eyes was uh, I am Wildcat, seven million YouTube subs, one of the biggest content creators in gaming. For you on that, he was in line t- three, two or three days, six a.m. He didn't even qual. He didn't even want to make it in. Um, 
but he was there because you know what he one he enjoyed it too. He, 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 I don't think he had any other PAX responsibilities. Mm -hmm. He went for that, stood in line, yeah. didn't get to flex his following, um, and went for it. He qualified for the nightly qualif or Actually, did he qualify for the nightly qualifier? I don't even remember. I don't think he did. But either way. Yeah. In, the, in the famous words of Nick Maniac Kirshner, yeah. some people want it and others kind of want it. He said that? I don't know. Oh. I don't think everybody gets a dick quote. But yeah, we, I was about to say. We always said that. Yeah. That was like the scuff house quote. There it is. Some people want this. Others just kind of want it. There's like a thousand crickets in here. And <laughs> I don't know. If you, did you know that I have a turtle? What? No. I own, I have, I've had a turtle for as long. Actually, yeah, yeah. 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 I did know that. Um, they last forever. Yeah. So I feed it crickets. Uh, and, so and, and now that we live here in Texas, there's an abundance of crickets. You're saving money. Yeah, that's why he moved. That's, yeah, that's why, why I, I moved. Move. I, I wanted to make sure that <laughs> I was saving money in feeding the turtle, you know, <laughs> so we can spend like more money on feeding Henry five pounds of meat. Can we talk about Eminem real quick? Not only can we talk about Eminem, but we're also going to talk about Drake and whether or not he did or didn't sex up or he didn't did a, did sex to oh, Kim, Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Wait, what? What? That's a, that's a new rumor okay. from this. From, from, since we were no, packs. no, it is. It is not a rumor. I believe it. But let's talk about Eminem. Yeah, I believe it. Eminem. Do you think MGK's – he came out of him hard, Did right? Did you hear the the snippet that Joe Budden released today? No. Of Eminem's reply? No, of oh. Joe Budden's podcast. Oh. Dude, all right. What? He, I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to play it into – Wait, of what Joe Budden's going to say at Eminem? Joe, no, no. Oh. Joe Budden is releasing a his podcast today. Yeah. Uh, it's probably already out as we're talking about this. But he released a tr like a, a a little snippet of it, and who's on it? It's just well, oh. Joe. Uh, I've never watched it, so that's like, like, he like talks with like a, a few people. It's a re I mean, he's really good at, at podcasting. But dude, can he stop retweeting everything? You're Turn off his retweets, maybe. You're Without a, it removing his profile. Celebrity. Mm, Joe Budden. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, enough people. B list. <laughs> Here. And because I think you don't really know all the members that were in the group, I don't really think you know our history. Let me tell you what Joe Budden has thought this entire time. I've been better than you this entire fucking decade. Talking about Eminem. Huh? Hold on, listen to what he says. Can't say that back then. Can't say that back then. But the next part. Jesus. But in my rapper brain, I'm a content nigga. You got to say something. You have not said anything for the better part of a whole fucking decade. That's true. You have rhymed a bunch of words. That's what he released. So I haven't seen it yet. But that really puts that... The, the way that he says that, and the, you see the passion, because... Obviously, Eminem calls out Joe Budden in in this new random yeah. thing that he drops, and Joe Budden is signed to Eminem. Was part of Slaughterhouse in the same you know, so it's just like what. Obviously, Joe Budden's made his transition to content from you know actually being a, a rapper, and so that's what Joe Budden. And you, you can see he's saying it with passion because I think this is what a lot of rappers are thinking. That they're better than him, but they just can't because he's so popular. You can't. You can't. It's it, it's as if it's as if someone in Optic claimed to be a better content creator than Big Timer. It might be true, but you can't say it. No, I'm just kidding. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, <coughs> but he but he's not. I mean, obviously, okay. he's a very very le Joe Budden. Who knows? He isn't. Okay, but I I understand. I, I'm I'm a huge Eminem fan. Yeah. I think Eminem is the best rapper of all time, but what it, what has he put out in the past ten years that has been as good as what he put out ten years nothing. before that? Nothing. Nothing. And and there are other rappers that have done that. There are Kendricks. There are Drakes. There are J Coles that have put out like there are Lil Pumps. <laughs> Lil Pumps. Come on, man. Be serious. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, 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 I so appreciate. No, no. I appreciate. I appreciate the the fact that the that the mumble raps thing is here and no, it's here sure. to stay. It's a the, the whole thing. <laughs> But I, but I got into the same sort of like heated argument and discussion in this in, in um, 
the Kanye who was nameless was saying who's better Kanye or Eminem or Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Eminem is better. Eminem is, is better. But what has he done? What, what? Nothing. That's 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 the thing. As far as lyricism, he is better than almost anybody. But I, then you have people like Most Deaf. You have people like you know like like Immortal Technique. Like those people who do what Eminem does, rap a bunch of words together. But what like th- that's why they never hit the mainstream is because nope nobody really wants to listen to to dictionary jumble and and and, and that's kind of what that's kind of mm. what Eminem does. Okay, so the, the, there's yeah. So the way that I see it, and and I was talking, I was having this discussion with my brother. I see rap as a sport more than uh, a, like an art form. You know what I'm saying? Because like I understand the 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 complexity that it is to be able to tell a story while making shit sound yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I hear like a Kanye West super banger hit, you know, hundred million copies sold, I like I appreciate the the art side of it. But rap to me has always been about the sports side of it, which is like literally being better at putting words together. And saying something that makes you say, "What the fuck did he yeah. like?" You know what I'm saying? So I have like a different. And then this one dude, when I said that Eminem was better than than Kanye, this dude, and I asked how old he was, not because it, not not that his age mattered, but I wanted to 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 get the full scope as to why he said, "Hex, you're not a hip hop head," right? And yeah, that's not something you can say to you. No, because <laughs> because I literally since since the time I was. A youngin, since yeah. you know, I've I've always been about hip hop. Everything in my life was hip hop. Everything, everything. I, I everything. I was I, I I researched it. I went to every single jam. I, I went to like I even showed you and Nick one time. The it wasn't King of the Dot. It was the other one where Matlock was battling, and I was yeah. sitting and I was standing no, next to him. No, it's like a spray paint slash break dance slash battle rap thing, right? No, no, that's no, it's not Scribble Jam. Oh, it's uh it no, it was it was one of those new battle rap forms where you pre write it and then you you say it in, in person. It it was like it was rap like battles? Yeah, but it wasn't it was one of the one it was it was not King of the Dot, it was something else. It wasn't Zero? I don't know. Anyway, whatever it was, but I showed you and Nick that and you know you guys were like what the fuck are you because i was standing next to matlock in it yeah. right so when, when he says like you're not hip-hop i'm like well how old are you you know because i want to i want to get the whole story somebody says like why are you asking his age why are you trying to dismiss his point because his age? i was like i'm yeah. trying to get the full fucking picture and the dude said it's like listen to me eminem was the first rapper that i ever listened to and i loved the way so i'm like all right so you can't you can't call somebody like me not a yeah. hip-hop head right you're seeing hip-hop as just rap i'm seeing hip-hop as like the all-encompassing, as 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 nerdy as it sounds now, the five elements of fucking hip hop. Well, it's four, but five, you know, yeah. it's debatable. And and I was just, I got offended because for years and years and years, like hip hop. I mean, still to this day, hip hop is like a big part of my life. Like I I have debates with my friends about it, talk about it constantly, and 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 like at length for sure. To where I'm like, you know, yeah. Where 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 do you get off? That that that's for me is like a. And this is just a little bit of a r- random like tangent, but like, that's why, for example, like, I, what I, I we everyone loves music, but f- for me, when when you, when you mentioned like putting together a story, make it sound good, I think it was you. That I think that's why like the song "Forever" by Drake still resonates so well with me because when you when you when you look at that song from like from what it was at the time to what it, what it, what it was at the start. It is, I think, one of the coolest things to think of mm-hmm. for me, and, and here's my thought process behind it and why I'm still so passionate about it and love the song. First off, Drake had just begun to kind of take off, right? Mm-hmm. At that time, that whole first part is literally just about, like, his new launch. Like, like start off local, but thanks to all the haters. I know G4 pilots on a first-name basis. G4 meaning the private jets. Now yeah. it's, like, taking off. Um, labels want my name beside the X like Malcolm like still trying to hasn't signed a deal yet he knows everyone wants Drake yeah. Yeah. that's what that whole first thing is and then obviously goes in the chorus may not mean nothing to you like so he, for that it's like okay Drake sets the tone for that song he comes in this is like th- this at the time I think is the biggest song of his career and he knows it because of who's going to be on it and what's to come with it so let's say you just listen to that song and you don't know who's featured on it yet then comes Kanye and at that time like Kanye was a big deal, but like even now, Kanye's become a, even greater than just obviously his music, yeah. right? But like at that time, Kanye w- was up was definitely up there, 
and you could make an argument for where he stacked up I on the list. The 808s had just come out. Um, yeah, but he was he was like it was like oh Kanye's there, and each it was like I was like damn that, like that was that was fire, and Kanye comes in uh, in that with like a little bit of heat and stuff like that, and then it goes back to Drake. Then next thing you know, Lil Wayne comes up, and in a typical rap, you got like your three verses, whatever your normal song, you think it's over, right? Yeah. And like Lil Wayne comes on, and Lil Wayne is right right at the top at that point, yeah. literally at his peak. Yeah, everyone like it's it's wheezy, right? And then it goes, and then next thing you know, like Eminem comes in. There they go. Yeah, and like packing stadiums. Packing stadiums is shady. Spits his flow. Not say go. Like when that comes in. It's like if you just pretend like – like if you thought like, oh, the song's over after Wayne and then Eminem's part comes on, you're like, oh, my God. And that for me, yeah. that whole thing encompasses everything everything that I love about that genre yeah. is that song. Yeah. Because it is hype. The lyrics, the, 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 the things you hear, each, each, each verse even has its own feel to it. Like Lil Wayne's verse in that feels like almost like you're like floating in space, and that's why I love like "Hello, It's the Martian." Spa- like, yeah, spa- yeah. like that part for me, you literally feel like you you've gone to a different song. Mm-hmm. Eminem comes in. If you watch a music video, he's just ang- he's just angrily yelling, yeah, and, and he's just going in. And like, if, if I remember uh, remember correctly, the 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 the, uh, the the image they put with it is like a balance, a balancing whatever those the scale scales where. Like Eminem comes on and is tipping the scale to the one side, like that's it. You know, yeah. like it literally. If I'm not mistaken, the imagery they use is a scale being tipped at times. And he's done. It is Eminem has stolen a song so many times. Like it happened on Renegade. It happened on Forever. It happened every time he does even, a live performance. Even literally, it happened on that Haley Williams song, yeah. the airplanes. Yeah, with Bob. That that like there are so many legendary that they will never ever die. Verses and songs from moments. Eminem from moments, but I can't remember the last one. No, for sure. And 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 it and I can't. You can't put your finger on it. And Nick will just say, "I don't know. He sucks now, and he hates it because Nick is the big like he was. He's a big Slim Shady fan. Like he yeah. knows all of the Slim Shady Royce Five Nine uh, freestyles. He knows them by heart. Mm-hmm. But he's like, why does Eminem suck now, man? Eminem just blows. My, my dad, like, my dad, like, <laughs> can't comprehend a lot of rap, like, just the way that they speak it so fast. Because he never yeah. listened to it, obviously. And didn't, he didn't grow up in hip-hop, for example. Or, or at least that wasn't what he was into. Yeah. But my dad hears Eminem come on, and he's like, that's Eminem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You couldn't play. I, I, I mean, he's started to get Drake simply because I literally will always have Drake on. And he, like, now can be like, But oh, I think Drake. Drake's also in the same, in the same, in like, you in the same. Oh, for sure. Right. Uh, but always... I think, I think of all of all anything my dad hears the second that Eminem comes on he's like that's Eminem he can call it we were just arguing at, the, at my football draft we were just arguing about the same exact thing and and I asked him the same question that people were asking on Twitter and I asked my brother-in-law Leo who's I think a bigger hip hop head than me when it comes to rap only I said who's better Kanye or Eminem and he took like too like too long to answer you know cuz he was like I'm like, I'm like, uh, like lyric wise, he's like, oh, Eminem, right? But the fact that he paused and started thinking about it was that. So I asked it again at the at the at the draft, and somebody said, well, who's better, Nas or or Eminem? And then my boy Eric's like, well, Nas is a better storyteller. And then I'm like, yeah, you say that, but then you have this song by Eminem called, you know, Stan, where you he literally made up this fucking fictionary fan that was so, and and you see, think about that song and tell me you don't you 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 haven't put like imagery to that you know what i'm saying no, that's I, I have an, an, whenever i hear the thunder yeah i have a, a literally a movie that plays same in and, and nobody's movie is gonna be the same i don't know if it's like i don't know if it's have i seen is there a music video for it i don't know i don't i've never watched the music video but there, is, I, there is there is there is there is, there is there is see for me it's like when i when i talk about topics and i think the reason why for example like on a podcast like like, like this is my first ever real podcast that i've been yeah. continually part of when I get onto a topic that I know a lot about, that's when I feel most comfortable, and I'll, I'll form my strong opinion because I know I have in my in my in my head the knowledge to be able to do that on the yeah. topic. That's why video games or mm-hmm. esports are that. But like when I hear this, when you say like Kanye or Eminem, I just won't. I, I won't. I'll be like, oh, I like Eminem more. Or I like Kanye more for their, like what I know their songs are. But I can't. I can't say blanket for me as a person. I just can't be like. This person's better because of this because I can't say I've listened to all their stuff. I haven't. Yeah. I haven't heard all their things. I haven't dissected it. Like when someone says, "You know, I, why do you love Drake or why do you think Drake is one of the best?" Like I just love Drake. 
I think he, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like when people yeah. are like, well, do you have a playlist or do you have, what, what's, what's your this? I'm like, I literally just, I hear songs. I'm like, I like that song. I'll play it. Yeah. One Kiss by Dua Lipa. I don't, I'm not a Dua Lipa fan looking forward to her music. Mm-hmm. But literally, I just hear that song. <laughs> I hear that shit. I'm like, yeah, this is fire. I'm going to play this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Maroon 5 when I was younger. I'd hear Maroon 5 song and I was like, tap on my window. I'm like, no. I'm like, this actually kind of feels pretty good. So I'll listen to it. Yeah. yeah. I, I know a lot of songs that, and Judith always says, like, how the fuck do you know this song? Yeah. I don't listen to the songs. Yeah, Judith's Ju- got a dirty Yeah, name. why the hell? Yeah. She, she's really passionate. Well, she needs to wash her mouth. Uh, <laughs> And, and this happens with Hodge all the time because Hodge, you know, sings a lot of songs and I'll be singing along with him and I'm like, it has to be a good 15 years since I've listened to this song. Yeah. And I don't know what it is about music, but I like tend to remember the, the one thing that I've never like songs, you put any Wu-Tang song on, I'm going to sing along. You put any Mop Deep, any, any like old school 90s yeah. rap, I'm going to sing along. The one rapper that I've never been able to memorize a song from is my favorite rapper of all time, Aesop Rock. I don't know why, but it, Maybe is why one of the many reasons why he's like my favorite rapper of all time. Anyway, let's move on from that. Let's talk about. Uh, did you see the whole Drake and? No, I didn't. Okay, so there's this this conspiracy going on right now. Some kid went by and he started, you know, looking it's still it a up. Twitter moment. I'd love to be able to just quickly show. I saw a Twitter moment about it. I know exactly what it is. Okay, all right, but I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you while while I'm looking. And for did you it. see Kanye issued like a? You see that stuff Kanye was tweeting today. Me no. Kanye tweeted a whole bunch about Drake today, apologizing about something and then Ooh. saying how he's going to go to one of his shows and show love for its art and how he didn't want it to be all this and stuff like. He's got to read his tweets. Um, what? So somebody's saying that that uh, Kiki, for example, is like, has anybody ever wondered who Kiki is? And then some kid went back and searched Kim Kardashian and Kiki and found two posts from a while back where both him and well, both her and the Chloe, blackout map is complete. That's the full blackout map that just came out. Sorry to cut you off. No, I like but it. But that's it. That's the full. That's what. That's what. So you won't be able to go on the outskirts of this. I mean, sorry, you can't even see this shit. I apologize. Uh, look it up. The full map of Blackout is out. I cannot wait for for Monday. But Kiki and Coco. Okay, they, she goes back and there's a tweet between Chloe and Kim, where Kim says, "Is like, you know, it's funny because, you know, both both Chloe and I have nicknames. I'm Kiki. She's Coco. But there's none for, uh, what's the other one?" Kylie? No, it's it's the the oh, three, the main the three. Kardashians. Uh, so Courtney. It's, it's Courtney. Courtney. There's not for Courtney. And then there's another one where uh, one of the nephews or the the nieces says Aunt Kiki, Aunt Kiki, right? So that's that's Kim's nickname, Kiki. Mm-hmm. So when he's wow. singing that, it's like Ki- you gotta see it. You gotta see it um, on your own, and you guys are curious. Anyway, that's I a think, whole. Uh, that's a whole I think it's time. I think let's let's cut it off right here before we go into another because this topic is super juicy. It's gossip. You'll have to tune in next time for the follow The gossip. Anyway, uh, thank you for tuning in, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, thumbs up. If you guys are subscribing for the first time, thank you so much. We'll see you guys on the next one, which will be next week. At the same damn No? No. That's not the same time all the time, is it? Joe, when's this going up? <laughs> right. We'll see you in the next one. We'll be there.